for an election that has been about the fiercest political battle in Tanzanian history. The day of voting itself passed off without a battle at all. They came and they waited, and in the end they were happy to vote peacefully and together. But at Oyster Bay Primary School, Tanzanian democracy was put to the test. First, the former Nigerian president, Goodluck Jonathan, from the Commonwealth Observer Mission, made a surprise visit. And separately, the chief of the European Union mission arrived as well. But they were pleased with what they saw. We've seen 400 polling stations uh, all over the country, mainland and, uh, and Zanzibar. And we see calm proceedings, peaceful situations, people patiently waiting their turn. Um, all in all, it looks uh, rather organized and uh, very peaceful and calm. There were some complaints that people's names did not appear on the register, and many stood around for hours in the queues. I waited for almost three hours, yes. But otherwise, everything went well. We voted peacefully. There's nothing, no, like chaos or, apart from that challenge, nothing bad. Many have been up since the crack of dawn, waiting for hours in the stifling heat. But for the majority of Tanzanians, this is a day of excitement as they finally get to do their bit in a peaceful and democratic way in one of their country's most important elections. The European Union sent out more than 140 observers to polling stations across the country. We observe the entire process, how the people come in, how the procedures uh, go on. If um, the election officials are looking for them to be on the voter register, if they, they get the ballot, how they vote, if they use the, the ballot booth, how they cast the ballot. And the ballots kept coming in. Nobody is really sure which party will get the most support in this election. But today the voters showed that their support for democracy is undivided. Dan Ashby, CCTV, in Tanzania.